This tutorial is a continuation of the one that accompanied assignment one, and it's meant to accompany assignment two. So in order to make sense of it, you'll need to have all of the, the uh, code from assignment one, or at least all of the sample code from assignment one working. The goal of this tutorial is to produce a histogram that represents the empirical distribution of the data set that we've been working with rather than just the frequency counts. In order to construct our histogram that represents a empirical distribution of our data set, we really just need to rescale the bar heights on a standard histogram. Specifically, we want the heights to be scaled to the probability of making an observation within each bin. This is computed directly by counting up the number of observations in each bin and dividing that by the total number of observations in the data set. We can get MATLAB to do this for us fairly simply since we've already got the code for producing an ordinary histogram. In fact, we can take that code from the previous tutorial that made our ordinary histogram and make one minor modification to it. In the histogram command itself, we have to supply a option and value pair of optional arguments. This will occur after the inputs, data, and the um, edges for our bins. Um, we'll supply the option of normalization and the corresponding value of probability. And that's really all it takes to produce a histogram whose bar heights are equal to the probability of making an observation with each, within each bin rather than counting the frequency of observations within each bin. Everything else in this example is essentially the same. However, I have changed the Y label to represent the fact that we are now displaying the probability of each outcome within the bin instead of the frequency. You can explore how the normalization option of the histogram command, as well as other options, work by searching for histogram in MATLAB's online help and exploring the syntax and instructions that are provided for you there. If you append this code fragment that we've just produced to the end of the MATLAB script that we produced in the previous tutorial and then run it, you should find that it produces a um, histogram very much like the one displayed on our screen now, whose bar heights are equal to the probability of making an observation within each bin. This is what makes it an empirical distribution for our data set.